Nat, you've been at the club a little while now. How are you finding it here? Yeah, I'm really enjoying it. Really good. It's just a great opportunity just to play games, to really learn what it takes to be a professional footballer. Come from academy, which is very relaxed, but here is full on games constantly and lots of pressure to win games and it's just really good just to have the opportunity to be a part of such a real good sell. The coaches are good, the managers are good, the team is just so good like and I'm just learning so much from every player so it's a, it's an honour to, to to get this opportunity to be here. Game time is what you really wanted and you are getting that here. What do you think that's doing for you as a player? Do you feel like you're really developing? Yeah. I feel like I'm really developing as a player and as a person as well. The Opportunity to play games has really helped me understand my strengths and my weaknesses. Like, because I'm given the license to, to play free, and having that license to play free has really allowed me to express myself and, and find who, who I am as a player. So, I didn't really get that at City. It was very structured, and we had a lot of tactics in the way we wanted to play. But here, there's a lot of freedom, and I'm allowed to express myself, go forward, and, and show what I can do. So, I feel like I'm really finding my feet here, and I'm really privileged to be here to, to play and just to to show what I can do, so it's good. So come on. Now you've experienced men's football, as they say, what is the difference between that football and 23s? I feel the difference between men's football and 23s is definitely just the demands physically. I feel like 23s is very unrealistic, like the way teams will play, like, and it's all about development, but here it's about winning games and three points, and I feel like the way Teams play can be sacrificed in order to get results, so I feel like it's just whatever you need to do to win, that's the most important thing, especially in men's football. And it's really good because it gives you a focus that it's like it's easy to switch off in academy football because you'd be dominating, you'd be doing this, but here it's like you can't switch off because a goal can come from anything, it can come from a set piece, can't attack anything, so you have to be really switched on, and it's, it's really good, man. Just because you don't take anything for granted even like the little things like getting like a simple pass like you get that wrong in academy level then you won't get punished for here like you get punished for mistakes so you really have to be on it and it allows you focus and your game to your, your quality of your game to really increase there's a lot of games in this league like you've said how do you prepare personally for games do you like to look at little clips on your own or is it a different process uh yeah i, I, I like to analyse my games, every game I, I go through it and see what I did well, what I can improve on, how I can help myself and how I can help my teammates. So obviously it's, there's a lot of games so it, the real great thing about that is that like, say that I didn't get something right, I have two days, three days to go and put it right so that is really really good because you can't, you even if you don't have the best of games, you can, you, there's always the next one, always the next one so for you, especially like mentally, being able to put things right after two, three days is just a real good feeling because you don't know, you get that in the academy football, academy football games probably like once a week or even like sometimes ten days and everything like that. So it's hard and you can be feeling down in the session, but like now you just gotta go, keep going, keep going, and it's really good. And the going through clips after games with the team and everything like that, seeing what we did well, is I'm just learning like, and it's it's accelerate everything's accelerated because of the amount of games you get like it's just so good so your and your body starts to get used to it so yeah man playing the games is just i'm really enjoying it man. Really enjoying it. would you say the the emotion in kind of a win a loss and draw is completely different and how are you finding that experience it's really really it's, 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 it's intriguing to be honest because i've never really been in the dressing room where results mean as much as they do like it, it sounds crazy but when i say development is a real big thing in 23's development is so like i believe that the ex expectation was always to win but there was always so much more than that it's about how many players can we produce in the first team how are we showing the quality the type of um, characteristic that are like you need to show as a top player but like here it's like you can have a fantastic game in your own personal opinion but if you lose it doesn't even matter like but when you play average you win the game you've had a fantastic game and it just shows the importance of winning so and when you do when even if you haven't had the best game the feeling that you still have after just knowing that you've got the three points is just awesome but my best feeling is when i've had a good game you've won and nothing compares to that feeling man and yeah it's, just, it's great it's great
we want that win, of course, against Charlton. What do you know about them? They're a, they're a big club, aren't they? Yeah, Charlton's a big club. I've seen them from when I was young. and It's just, I feel like it's going to be a game where we, if we can stop their attacking threats and deal with their two big strikers, I feel like we've got a great chance. I feel like we've got a real strong, strong um, atmosphere around the team again. Getting good results always helps and I just feel that firepower and that desire to work for each other is becoming really strong. It feels like there's like more of a camaraderie around around us and especially in the Shoulder of Rochdale game, we're just working for each other. Like here you obviously see strikers, like you, they're there for goals, but here is so much more than that. The work that the strikers do for us off the ball is, I, I believe is like key to how well we do. Like we all work for each other. And then because of that, it pushes everyone else to work together. And I feel like that energy that we have as a team is what really drives us. And I feel like against Charlton, we can really use that and to get a good result and to nullify their, their threats and to really push as a team going forward. And how are you finding working with the senior defenders, as you would say? Are they shouting instructions at you yeah, all the time? Yeah, because <laughs> sometimes I'll just be walking into position, but there's, there's no time to do that. They're always like, nah, tuck in, tuck in, tuck in. And it's always prompting me like that and then it's getting to the point now where it's happening naturally like they don't even have to say it because I know okay I don't want them to say it so let me get in position quick and it shows that there's little things in games which really help because as you get into position quickly you've got more time to rest the more time you walk in position you blow and you have to run and it's like but if you get there you get time to rest and all these little tricks that I'm learning from the boys are really helping and it's allowed me to understand the importance of, importance of organisation and how having a good structure helps, not just on the ball, but off the ball. So I'm learning so much from, from the boys and it's a privilege just to, to be there and to work with them. And how are you feeling physically going into this one with a, a lot of games? Yeah, my body's really getting used to it. At first it was really tough, but now like I can't wait for the next game because there's always more that I want to do, more that I want to work on, more that, that, that I want to give for my, for my teammates. And yeah, I'm just excited. Just the opportunity to play games, professional games, like it's, it's you dreaming it. Like, so I'm just so excited, man. Every, every game is just an opportunity to get better. So I'm loving it. Really looking forward to the next one. Are you uh, looking forward to getting on the score sheet? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I've had some okay shots, some poor shots, but just getting in them areas is what I've been. It's been mad. Six, seven, eight years since I was getting in them positions. So to get in these four positions and get opportunities to have shots on goal is it's what I dream about. I love watching attacking players. I love, I love it. Uh, even though I'm registered as a defender, like I love the attacking players and I love getting shots and love beating people one v one. And it's been my game, but I never understood how much I enjoyed it until I've come here. Just having the freedom to do what I do, like it's just made me so much more confident as a person, as a player, and. Yeah, that's what a professional environment does. It allows you to really find yourself in amongst a lot of personalities and strong characters. Finding yourself is really important. And when you find yourself off the pitch, I feel like it's easier to project yourself on the pitch. And that's what I'm really learning how to do. So, yeah, man, I love going forward and being expressive and being positive because that's the type of guy I'm trying to be as well off the pitch. Cheers, man.